Hi and hello everyone and welcome back to our EU4 multiplayer series featuring myself, Berg787, and my co-hosts, Torio and Grey Hunter. Say hello guys. Hello. Hello. All right, superb. Well, the war is afoot for everyone apart from me who's just annexing people. So let's just get straight back into the action. So how's things going up over there in old sunny England? Um, I am slowly winning and slowly because of the forts. I have to just uh, pace myself and slowly, slowly get there. And I'm building a lot of galleys to beat them up in the Irish Sea because they have a, they have a lot of uh, ships there. Oh, by I the, do by, need to move there. By the way, remember I was getting a bit annoyed at the end of the last episode about those reform zealots getting crushed by France? Well, they are crushing one stack, but another two stacks There's appeared. two more. <laughs> yeah. The second that's... and third reformed army. I'm almost half tempted to um, support... <laughs> Oh, damn it. Election in the Republic. 104 or 042. Let's take 104 because. Military... <laughs> Who goes? You decide. Um, sorry. <laughs> There's a Big Brother UK reference. Okay. Yeah, basically. Get out, Berg. Remember Get the time the when out. Big Brother was a big thing that everybody was uh, sort of excited about? Thank I God I don't. You're too young to remember that. <laughs> it was a weekend. No, no, I, I remember those days. But fortunately, the people around me were not those people. I mean, the media and all that, that everyone was excited about. That it was all, all around the media. Yes, well. Yes. Can I set this as a... Hang on, I just need to pause because apparently the menu won't select sure. otherwise. You do whatever you oh, need to do. Apparently man. it just won't select anyway, but it's okay. Doesn't matter. I want to tell France to go get Corsica, because Corsica is like, nope, I'm not getting out of this war. I'm totally get interested them. in being part of it. Get them! Oh, if they I can't. Do it. I have no ships. I have I no coast. I just, I just felt like saying get them. I didn't actually mean go and get them. I don't know who you're even going to get. Oh, France, not leave them! About the bailiff. Leave, leave the zealots alone! Your zealots? They're not really my zealots, but, you know, there's uh, Are they Leave in France or in your territory? Alone. No, in their territory. Okay. Rock on, France. Occupied Norfolk. Oh, fucking hell, you've occupied tons of England. Mm, yeah, but, oh no, big army, big army. Big army. In London, 35,000 of their troops. Who are these Moldovian and Polish troops just begging a big retreat? Who are they fighting again? Uh, Savoy and Bohemia, and that's it. And Scotland. Scotland's and, still uh, a thing. Ulm. Scotland still exists. Yeah, they're a vassal yeah. of England and have one province. Did they make you release them or something like that? Didn't you conquer them? No, no, I took the rest, and England took that province. Right, okay. So, Austria. How much are you going to hate me for doing this? A lot. Only negative 12, apparently. That's not too bad. Chase the English army. Good, all things considered. Ulm is mine. All right, Verona, we don't need you to be like full-blown Protestant, yeah? You could like try and maybe be in reformed. <laughs> just be a bit you Protestant. Could just pretend. <laughs> yeah, just be a bit Protestant, not full-blown. Damn it. Just a little Protestant. Oh. Now, is this going to backfire on me terribly? This no. is the question. What, what do you plan on doing? Well, no, because I took Ulm, but it's going to be unlawful territory. Don't worry about so it. So, is Austria going to do something about it? Oh, right, so when Austria get out of their war, they're going to be like, okay, so what do we have to do today? Oh, yeah, that's right. Well, they're not in a war, that's the oh, thing. Not? Why aren't they no, because the back? war ended. Well, why aren't they asking for it back, then? They did. I told oh, them to go fuck themselves. Oh, all right, okay, well... Leopold, Ulm is mine, and I'll Leopold, be keeping it, thanks. Leopold VIII, Johan. Sounds like an arsehole. <laughs> there we go. Poland and France, you can totally have access. No, France insulted me? Okay, it must have been an event. Why? Must have been an event. I was starting to worry, though. France insulted you, eh? <laughs> they don't like you. Did they, did they fart in your general direction? Is that what they did? <laughs> yes. <laughs> now leave before I am forced to insult you a <laughs> second time. <laughs> Something about uh, hamsters and things. You've got a lot of borders with them. I do, but they do like me still. 
I suppose I could attack Burgundy. No, what Burgundy you is. Decide? You're still Catholic. Yes, because of the Treaty of Tordesillas, which I want to keep, to uh, to keep uh, Spain out of my colonies. Okay. It would kind of help. Well, that's interesting then, because I'm Protestant, Berg is Reformed, and Torio is just well Catholic. Catholic. Just Calling Catholic. Catholic. Yep. He's too normal. So vanilla. So what are you actually going to take? Appreciate the classics. What? What? Sorry. Who, oh, right. Him. Yeah. What are you going to take? Uh, yeah. What, what do you I want? I don't know. From I, I was thinking of taking I um, Ireland. What the the parts that you haven't sieged at all? Uh, I'm <laughs> going there later because I'm I am building a navy to kill. I suppose the technically you don't need to have sieged it, do you, to to be able to take it? So. I do need to have sieged the fort in the general vicinity. Oh right, yeah, 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 yeah. Of course. That, that. This is a this is a modifier that really annoys me. Well, it kind of makes. I a think lot it's good <laughs> because if uh, the enemy has uh, one fort on the other side of the world, well, they're holding and... out, man. Yeah. Remember yeah. the Alamo. I do love the fact that it annoys you, but it's uh, you know it's part of the game. What do you want? Would you just take everything you want? Eh? It only you... annoys me a tiny bit. Uh, I could see your troops there for a bit while France had some troops in your land there, uh, Grey Hunter, but then they went. Yeah, they were just hanging out, you know, playing Nintendo, doing as they do. Really, Austria? Austria doesn't hate me that much. I thought they'd hate me for sure more, Pisa but they only have converted. a negative thirty-one. Oh, Pisa, what are you converting to? Fucking full-blown. Full-blown Protestantism. What's your problem? <laughs> what is your major malfunction? You just want me to have a disaster. I know what it is. Oh, I took Derby. Good. Well done for calling it Derby, by the way. I did hear people complaining about people calling it Derby for a few times, and I remembered. Well, it's not Derby, is it? It's Derby, so... Indeed. Indeed. Hip, hip. Hmm. All right, well, England um, is not looking good. Oh, cool. Game one base tax in Arezzo. Arezzo. Why not? Okay, Why not? Stuff is happening. Damn it. When am I going to be not taking over? things. Wow, it's a long time. Oh, no, another... Let's do it. Could use a better general, though. Well, you know, as the great philosopher Mick Jagger once said, you can't always get what you want. But, if you try real hard, sometimes, you get what you need. Pretty much. Really, a trade dispute casts a spell out against Austria. Alright, Rome has become reformed. Good. Does the Pope have land now, at somewhere? Did anybody give him anything, I wonder? Who knows? Mm, you can click the HRE button, and then you can search those... Uh those crests are there for the Pope, because if he formed, he usually forms in the HRE. Yeah, he's not there. No, I don't see the Pope. Or he could sometimes form in one of the orders, maybe Teutonic <laughs> or Livonian. He formed in... he formed in Asia. Yes. So far away that we don't even know it's in Terra Incognita. He's just who, hanging out in the Caribbean. Who the fuck's Elodia? Eating into the Mamluks. It's, uh... Africa. Well, East I, Africa. I, I, I know that I can see it, but what I'm saying is, is like, who the hell are they? I suppose they're well, audience. There you go. Yeah, you know, the name kind of gives it away. Nah, 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 nah. Oh crap! Ooh. What's my navy? Red Did Squadron you? is fucking you up. Go Red Squadron. Red Squadron. Get that oh. Death Star. Who the hell is their fucking their admiral? Grainy me Mahale. Is he from fucking? Wheel of Time. Random Irishman. I don't know, Mahale, man. He's from Wheel of Time. Anyone read the Wheel of Time? No. Um, I actually have one of the books, but it's not the first one. I am... You just randomly have one of the No, books. I got it as a gift or something, and I'm waiting to get who, the first one. Who would give someone a book, like, in the middle of a massive series as a present? An I... idiot. No, someone who doesn't know much about fantasy and is, for example, one's grandfather. Oh, well, I didn't call your grandfather an idiot. <laughs> well, did. all right. Grandparents are an exception. Yeah, I mean, you know, grandparent gifts are grandparent gifts. You can't really get angry yeah. with them. They're trying to be nice. They get a pass. And then you get that kind of sentimental value with it, sort of like, oh, that's from my grandfather. Exactly. Exactly. See? Nice uh, guy, Berg. Is it, is it, uh, is the series very good or not? 
Wheel of Time, yeah, I mean, I love it. I've, I've read it all. I mean, yeah, some people moan about it, but people will get anything that's vastly popular is going to get moaned at. By, you know, there's going to be some people who moan mm. about it. So. What's it about in a, in a nutshell? <sighs> Bohemia. It's a big what massive, you it's, a, it's an epic fantasy novel. Good versus bad. There you go. So the classics. Yeah, basically a classical story of good versus bad. There's a chosen one type thing. and It goes a little bit, it goes on a, on a basically, it's 14 books and the first six are really great then it kind of like because it's so big and so many storylines and stuff like that kind of veers off a little bit for a while but then when the actual original author died the guy who was brought in to tie it to finish it off based on the notes that the guy left because he didn't die suddenly he had like some illness or something like that mm -hmm. so he basically wrote the synopsis of how he wanted it to end and he chose this guy brandon sanderson to end so for the final three books it really does pick up again in speed and it's all great but sort of like as i said first six books brilliant seven through to about 10 11 are a bit of a slog but you know you're kind of invested at that stage so you get through them and then the final three are great okay cool but as i said they, they are a bit of a slog those those sort of meet the middle section but because you are so invested if you've got through the first six then you're kind of happy to get through them you know what i mean do you do you read a lot of fantasy book uh yeah fair bit less than what i want to to be honest I do actually want to read more, but I've read quite a lot of sad fantasy books here. Yeah. All uh, right. Don't really have an awful lot to do. Well, I need to... Sorry, just changing back to the subject. I don't want to go mm. off too far off point, otherwise some people moan at me. Um, <laughs> we can't talk about fantasy. We, um, When I played with the Vooj on uh, Mountain Blade, we actually talked about Game of Thrones all the time, and people seem to like it a lot. Yeah, Vooj... Well, Game of Thrones is quite relevant, especially at the time when you were playing, because it was obviously in the middle of the series, wasn't it? So, I suppose. Not sure when the time is that relevant. But um, come on, Sienna, man. Hurry up and become part of Tuscany. Since I can't go to war at the moment, I can't... Sienna, man. Half man, half Sienna. Yeah, well, absolutely. Sienna, man. You don't know what Sienna, man is? You don't need to know what Sienna, man is. Um, well, only, we don't only... talk about Sienna, man. Yeah. I've only got seven more years of this warning left, which is quite nice. Do you? It said yeah. that it lasted until 65, didn't it? No, 56. Ah, so, 56. Unless I've just completely misread that. No, no, 56 is right. Hmm, Bohemia is getting its ass kicked. I'm tempted to go and annoy them a little bit, but I kind of want them strong. To go and tickle them. They yeah, I kind of want them strong, though, at the same time, because if they're strong, then there's more of a chance that they'll form a Protestant league and overthrow Austria. You want them strong bow. Ho, ho, ho. No, that's not funny. Green giant. No. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Points for effort, though. Yeah. I applaud what you your efforts. This? That sounded really menacing, whatever you just unzipped. That was the chair going. That was oh, me right. leaning back in my chair. It sounded like you unzipped, like you were unzipping your trousers. Like, right. Mm, yep. Time to get mm, Bohemia prepared. <laughs> time to find Bohemia up. Yep. I take my gaming literally, very seriously. Prepare your ass. I'm going Exactly. In. Also, have you noticed that Saxony is getting fucked up by Monster? No, where is Saxony? Oh, right, okay, yeah. I absolutely... They want Hess, and I'm assuming Saxony... that they're going to take... Sa Saxony is actually bigger than what I always... Whenever I look at Saxony, I'm always kind of like, oh, right, okay, Saxony is quite big. Yeah, they're doing a lot better this time around. Usually, by this point, Brandenburg has got all its Prussian ideas oh, going. For Brandenburg's... And... I don't know what the fuck Brandenburg are playing at, but they're doing a not, not, an awful lot of nothing. They're doing okay, though. They're not too bad. I mean, but if they're... they decide to attack Saxony, I'll probably help them out, because I'm I'm over Saxony's whinging now. They're oh, like, I have you broke your alliance with us. Or fever points to spend. Ooh, wow. Right. <laughs> fever points? Fever. They fever. give me fever. Fever in the morning, fever all, right, all through well, the I night. I think I'm going to go through this. Oh, no, I don't have a looming disaster anymore. Okay. I don't really have to do anything at this stage. Then. Well, yeah. I'll use it. I'm going to save it and then use it for war when I uh, eventually get into a war. Yeah. You know, you can activate and deactivate the, um, the focuses, so you can just uh, keep use it at it 90. Yeah. yeah, but I'll be gradually losing it because I get 3.16 at the moment each month. Well, what, what I mean is you can uh, go two months with... Uh, you can go a month with focus and a month without focus. Yeah, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. Because you still earn it <laughs> if you lose it. 
you can actually get to a point where you are maintaining a focus indefinitely and still gaining points. I think I'll turn the trade one on just for a while. You know, I might as well make some money. That's interesting. The Palatinate tried to take on Lorraine for some reason. All by itself. Crazy. That's what it was. It was crazy talk. Well, they, Why they would are... you do that? I don't know, man. Because oh, they, they have big the friends. Point. They have big friends, though. Like, they have Austria on side. Why would you go to war against Lorraine alone? No, no, no. Don't worry, Austria. I got it. Yeah. <laughs> Hold my beer. It's oh, cool. Wow. Okay, well, Saxony's... Saxony got bashed up by Munster. <laughs> yep. Yep. They got two provinces released as one province miners, and Munster and lost... took a ton of stuff. Yeah. They took okay. Hesse oh, yes, and Castle. Well, Munster's actually almost as big as Netherlands, like the mainland Netherlands, anyway. Yep. They might form Westphalia. Actually, no, I don't think they can. They're a bishopric. Whenever you say bishopric, I always think that you say bishopric. <laughs> Are they not the same thing? Wait, 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 wait. There is a bishopric right here. I almost think I might build a, an icon. Bishopric. A bishopric, yeah. Mm -hmm. Most deaf. Stop, children. What's that sound? I think I'm going to actually build... Bishop Prick. <laughs> I think I'm going to build a fort here, actually, in Umbria. So I'm going to get rid of this regimental camp. And I'm going to build a fort here. Hmm. There we go. So Austria... Okay, this is going fine. We'll Austria don't this. seem annoyed at me as much as I thought they would be. I'm pleasantly surprised by this, but also kind of... Kind of scared. A little bit. Yeah, I'm, I'm worried that they're just thinking about waiting for a bit. Uh, wicked rumors, hey? Mm. Oh dear. Oops. It's gain on I'm rest going to have or to pay feed money. at least part of Savoy to France. Because otherwise they will get annoyed at me. Well, don't they have oh, really? claims on a few of the provinces? Yeah, that's yeah they do. That, that's why I have to feed them at least one, I think. That'll actually cause me some aggressive expansion. I will say, Tori, you don't have to do anything, man. Yeah, you could leave them with nothing. I'm yeah, pretty sure they'd get over it. What's all this? You have to do this, man. Who's who's the boss of you, man? France. Uh, Hungary, but yeah, true. Hungary will transfer trade power to Austria. See, there's someone who's being a bitch. Are they in a personal union? No. No. Really? Just... Hungary will transfer trade power to Austria. That's so stupid of them. They're just being bitched on. That's all. Apparently. They have well, the same dynasty. I will say, once all these wars are over, I think the landscape of Europe's going to change pretty drastically. Especially if yeah, what's happening depend. to Bohemia at the moment keeps going. I'm hoping that the uh, the war will end up releasing Mainz and Wurzburg, hopefully, so I can make nice with them. I'm, you have felt hats. You have felt hats. I'm really interested to see what happens to Savoy. I bet nothing happens. I bet they come out of this war without having to give up anything. Well, I am open to negotiations. I'm not paying you to dismantle them. <sighs> I would rather chop off my testicles than pay you anything. That's so, a pity. Uh, in your fair voice, would you, would you want one of my <laughs> testicles? As payment. As payment. I want one testicle. Well, naturally. It would be like Hitler and uh, the rhyme, uh, the nursery uh, rhyme or something. You get to Britain. It's not nursery rhyme. That's what they teach you in yeah. school. <laughs> yeah, suddenly Hitler is just a cuddly nursery rhyme character. Yeah. The more you know. Hitler wasn't real, what do you mean? He's just like a... No, you, you know what I mean, the, the thing about the Albert Hall. I know what you're talking about, but like, it's just about... No, he's not really, he's just something they tell to scared little Jewish kids, you know, like... <laughs> no, he didn't really exist. He's not real. He's not real. Obviously. Do you oh, believe just, in Hitler? Yeah, oh, you believe in Hitler? Oh, how old are you, 12? No, everybody clapped their hands and say, I believe. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I gain a diplomatic insult Cassis Belly on Spain, or Siena and Austria's opinion gets plus 60 of me. I think I'll take that, why not? Why would you not make friends? Why can't well, we be friends? I mean, it doesn't really matter, because Siena, I was already at 200, and I'm going to incorporate them soon. There's a, 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 having Austria, a Cassis, though. Having a Cassis Belly against Spain is kind of pointless, because what am I going to do? Go and attack him? And, well, yeah, exactly, um, that's what I mean. Yeah, so to get, friends... I mean, getting that plus 60 modifier of Austria is sort of, why not? Yeah, exactly. Friends with Austria sounds like a much better alternative. Well, I'm not. I'm never actually going to be friends with them, but like, you know. <laughs> no, you're not. Slightly less annoyed. Yeah. Because don't you hold? Yeah, you do hold. A Enemies of the less empire. bitter. Well, yeah, 
Because he holds Verona, and Verona's part of the Empire, so they might one day decide they kind of want that back. Well, it was part of the Empire. No, it is part of the Empire. Oh no, check again. Oh, they just made it not part of... Did no, you I, do that? I, Are you able I to... just made it. I just made it not part of the Empire, alright? Nice. Me. I did that. Me. I said, yeah? Yeah? <laughs> yeah? No. Empire? Empire? What Empire? Never heard of it. Who's Switzerland allied with? Corsica and Ravensburg. No one particularly good. I could ally with them. Don't you underestimate Ravensburg. Ravensburg is so They have ravens and bugs. They do. Mm. They do indeed. And they're a free city. Because of course they are. This war is taking forever. <laughs> and their ruler is Johann Hummelberger. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. I like that. Well played, Ravensburg. Well played. Oh, damn it. Oh, I could go to war. Oh, no, that would be a bad idea. I was going to say, I could, go to war with... I could go to war with Austria. But as uh, mm -hmm. France would join in, Poland wouldn't because. They're I just fine. found an annoying feature. But Spain and Hungary would join in on their side. What's your annoying feature? Uh, the annoying feature is that infantry orders override navy orders. I had my um, my ship sent to a sea zone where an important battle was about to commence because of that uh, navy. And then I clicked a um, unit of infantry to go to a province. And they decided they will hop onto the ships and then hop down in the province. And that stopped the ships from moving and resulted in a naval disaster. Finally! Jesus Christ. Finally, Ooh, I have on. finished talking, right? <laughs> what did you just do? <laughs> finally, you stopped talking. I didn't say no, just funny the way you Well, actually, no, I was saying finally because um, Philippe Wilhelm died at the age of 75. Who's this? You are, you're king? Or what? My ruler, so now I have a slightly better guy. Oh, you have And Carl Nassau Alfred. wants us to fight Saxony. This is a war that they have started, and Nassau has been warned by Bohemia, so they may intervene. Oh, well, that's not too bad. That's okay, I can live with that. Sure. I've heard of worse things. Well, yeah, because it's not, it's not Bohemia and all its friends. It's Bohemia, who is being beaten up by Poland. They, they are it, being beaten up. They aren't being beaten up anymore. Not really, yeah, it's true. Bohemia they don't have any troops, back. though. Yeah, but, not yeah, but they don't have any yet. soldiers. They have 21,000 Oh, wow. Polish now people. they do. They, I, I was about to say, you know what? You might <laughs> want to reconsider that because they seem to be stomping on Poland. How about that? No, Actually, that's okay. They're busy I am going Poland. to warn you that I will probably uh, piece them out soon. All right, well, but anyway. Yeah, you would now. Time. It's come to time where I'm going to pause because we are at the end of our episode for today. Uh, Great. Do you look? Yeah, dear viewers, if you're enjoying things, please do show support by hitting those like buttons, leave your comments, tell me what an idiot I am. I always enjoy that. It's nice and, you know, friendly and all that. <laughs> but <laughs> until next time, cheerio. Take care. Bye-bye. See ya. Bye. Bye.